Blessings, 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 beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. <coughs> Excuse me. Today's read is for Wednesday, August the 25th, 2021, reading from Isaiah the 37th chapter through the 39th. We'll be reading from uh, the King James Version of the Word of God. And one thing I do while I'm sitting here in recovery, because the Lord is healing me slowly but surely, I'm reading his word. Ain't nothing going to stop me from reading the word of God. So, death got to go on and go somewhere. We're going to read about what you can do with death in this reading. Praise God. And it reads, But I know thy abode, and thy going out, and thy coming in, and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me, and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, Therefore will I put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest. Y'all running around here putting hooks in your nose? Look what it means. It's a bondage from God. It's a, a punishment from God. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such as groweth of itself. In the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards, and eat the fruit thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, shall do this. Therefore, thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, he shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shields, nor cast a bank against it. By the way which he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord. For I will defend this city, to save it for my own sake, and for my servant David's sake. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Shennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt in Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshiping in the house of Nishroth, his god, the Adramelech and Sharezer, his sons, smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia and Eshar Hadan. His son reigned in his stead. Chapter 38. Now in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. And I've done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah and Mama Pam wept sore. And it came, then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah and Hezekiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I've heard thy prayer, I've seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Ooh, ooh, that gets me closer to that hundred and twenty, y'all. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he had spoken. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which has gone down in the sundial of Heston, degrees backward. So the sun returned ten degrees, by which degrees it was gone down. Now the writing of Hezekiah, king of Judah, when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness. I said in the cutting off of my days, I shall go to the gates of the grave. I am depraved of the residue of my years. So this is what Hezekiah was writing. I said, I shall not see the Lord, even the Lord in the land of the living. I shall behold no man no more with the inhabitants of the world. Mine age is departed and is removed from me as a shepherd's tent. I have cut off like a weaver my life. He will cut me off with pining sickness from day even to night, 
wilt thou make an end of me? I reckon till morning that is a lion, so will he break all my bones. From the day even to night wilt thou make an end of me. Like a crane or a swallow, so did I chatter. I did mourn as a dove. Mine eyes fell with looking upward. Oh, Lord, I'm oppressed. Mama Pam kind of oppressed dealing with this here, high blood pressure stuff. Undertake for me, O oh God. What shall I say? He hath both spoken unto me, and himself hath done it. I shall go softly all my years in the bitterness of my soul. O oh Lord, by these things men live, and in all these things in the life of my spirit, so wilt thou recover me and make me to live. Behold, for peace I had great bitterness, but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption, for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back. For the grave cannot praise thee, death cannot celebrate thee, that they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth. The living, the living, he shall praise thee, and I do praise you this day. To the fathers, oh, as do I this day, okay? The father to the children shall make known the truth. The Lord was ready to save me. Therefore, we will sing my songs to the stringed instrument all the days of our life in the house of the Lord. For Isaiah had said, let them take a lump of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil, and he shall recover. Hezekiah also had said, what is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord? And at that time, Merodach Baladan, the son of Beladan, king of uh, Babylon, sent letters and presents to Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasures. There was nothing in his house nor in all his domain, dominion that Hezekiah shew, shewed them not. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto Hezekiah saying, and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto thee? And Hezekiah said, They are come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. Then said he, Well, what have you shown me? What they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, All that is mine, all that is. I'm gonna finish reading this. Um, I have not shown them uh, to, to, all that is in mine house. Have they seen? There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. Then said Isaiah to Hezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And all of thy sons that, that shall issue from thee, he hadn't had any sons yet, which thou shall beget within these 15 years, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord, which thou hast spoken. He said, Moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer and me, the reader, of this precious and sacred word of God that will bring us to chapter 40 of Isaiah. Not sure why he got in trouble for showing all, but maybe God is saying, Don't show everybody, nobody, everything you got. Keep something between you and the Lord. Praise God. Again, I want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of the Smurf Club for your continued donation. <coughs> Excuse me. Of $20 to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson dollar sign Mama Pam 23. We are the Smurf Club, Smurf Ministry, Seven Minute Read Family, Seven Minute Read Follower, just Seven Minute Read Faithful Folk. And we do read seven minutes every day so you don't have to read. We're the Smurf Ministry. Praise the name of the Lord. We do broadcast daily when I'm up and at it. Have been down for a couple weeks here in the month of August, but that's okay. God is my healer. We broadcast on HAPS TV, H-A-P-P-S dot TV. HAPS dot TV, H-A-P-P-S dot TV forward slash at Pamela Dobson. HAPS dot tv forward slash at 
Pamela Dobson. Know that Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. And know that Mama Pam loves you. There's absolutely, positively nothing you can do about it. Won't you go out there and be kind to somebody? But this is the season of Isaiah 26, 20 and 21. Stay inside. Close your doors. Stay in there until this thing that's back on the scene be passed. Wear your mask. Wash your little hands. God bless you. I love you.